post pandemic they've really struggled to get drivers back and now they're sitting here losing a bunch more now to fuel prices. As the cost of gas continues to surge, rideshare drivers are working overtime to meet demand. Some have even needed to trade their vehicles in for more efficient ones or quit altogether. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara spoke with some full-time drivers. Scarlett, they say it's getting harder to make ends meet. They told me the platforms like Uber and Lyft offer drivers about 55 cents per trip to accommodate gas prices. But that's only a fraction of what a gallon costs, and many of those trips span for miles. When Adam Corbett first started driving for Uber months ago, a gallon of gas cost several dollars less than it does today. It seemed like the perfect deal. Make my own hours, and I know I'm home with the kids when I need to be home. But it turned out too good to be true. It, it, it's getting to be a struggle to get the bills paid. It's put a lot of stress on me. He recently quit his full-time job to drive for Uber because he was easily able to bring home $1,500 a week. But that same amount of cash just doesn't stretch like it used to six weeks ago. With gas prices, put money aside to pay taxes at the end of the year, that's just enough to break even. Like many other rideshare drivers, he says Uber isn't offering much help. Three to four trips, 55 cents a trip, it's not even a gallon of gas. And I'm probably burning eight, nine gallons of gas doing it. Chris Heater drives for both Uber and Lyft. His Ford Expedition used to bring in extra cash because it could carry more riders. But now, he says he's matching what he would take home after expenses. That stress led him to buy a Toyota Prius. I honestly had to scramble and look for a more fuel-efficient vehicle. That's one reason why drivers are hoping to see Lyft and Uber change their base rates and commission structures. Something like a... 60 40 or you know 65 35 something like that split is more fair in this current economy with inflation and fuel prices compared to a roughly 50 50 split he says he hasn't received an update from either platform since the price of gas reached a new high the nationwide average hit five dollars for the first time last week i hear a lot of riders you know talking about how gas prices are too much for them to drive themselves but then, you know, so yeah, that kind of hurts when they make that comment. And I'm like, you know, I'm out here spending my gas to give you a ride. We reached out to Lyft and Uber for a statement and have not heard back from either service. Marley? Scarlett, thank you so much.